Hi, Dale here with Open Road Outfitters. A lot of people ask me, which is the better lightweight camper for them? The Minimate or the Easy Camper? So this video is a side-by-side -side comparison of them both. Each has features that will appeal to different traveling styles, which I'll get into, but I want to start with what they have in common. Both of these lightweight tent campers have a full-size bed area. The tent for each is made of a water-repellent and UV-resistant marine-grade fabric. The inside space of both campers is completely off the ground, which I think is really important, especially when you're camping in rain and mud. The storage space is very similar between the two. 15 cubic feet for the Minimate, 16 cubic feet for the Easy Camper. And both campers are set on a rubber torsion suspension that's very effective at soaking up the bumps. In fact, here's a video of the Minimate suspension in action. The Easy Camper suspension looks and works identical. Now, the most important differences between the two are the ease and speed of setup, the amount of interior living space, and the available accessories. So let's look at each of those in detail. Now, one person can set up the Easy Camper tent to get out of the rain in just a couple of minutes. First, you pop it open and lay out the floor and the bed foldouts. Next, you lay out the tent canvas. Then, once that's done, you lift the three internal bows that raise the tent and another one over the bed area. Now, to finish the setup on the Easy Camper, you'll walk around the perimeter to secure the tent snaps to the camper base. And if you do all that at one time, a complete one-person setup time is about 10 minutes. Now, that's not bad, but the Minimate Camper opens up and sets up even faster. After opening the lid, you pull two bows up and you secure them in place with a self-locking bar. Now, I, I realize this video is not the greatest. I kind of shot it a little close and it cuts off a bit of the action, but you get the idea. There's one more locking bar that holds a third bow in place, and that's over the bed area. The tent is attached to the camper, so you don't have to walk around it and set up any, uh, snap any buttons. So between the two, I think that the Minimate is easier for one person to set up, especially if you don't have a lot of upper body strength. Now, let's look at the inside space because what you get for that difference in setup is apparent when you look inside each camper. Now the Minimate is perfectly suited for a solo camper with plenty of storage that's separate from the sleeping area and it's easy to access. And with just a couple of flips, you can convert the bed into a small sitting area that, you know, is big enough for a person to sit in and get out of the weather. The Easy Camper, on the other hand, has a large inside sitting area and it can be equipped with an optional table like the one you see here. The room inside the Easy Camper is large enough for easily for two people to sit comfortably and escape the rain or the bugs. Now when you're ready for bed, you'll take the table out and fold out the other half of the bed. And if you want to see a comparison between the Easy Camper and the other timeout campers, there's another video that does that. The third difference has to do with accessories. Now, the Minimate has a few options. It has an awning that you can zip on the front, 
and it has a light bar and a fender. Uh, you can put a cooler on the tongue. And that's really about it. The, the Easy Camper, on the other hand, has more options, including an aerodynamic cooler, which is installed on this camper. You can add a large L-shaped awning that I really like. Or you can even add a massive 12 by 12 screen room that will give you an, a huge additional closed in space. So given that, how do you choose between the Easy Camper and the Mini Mate? Now I've camped with both of these many times. I've enjoyed using them both over the years, but I think it boils down to two different types of travel and two different types of campers. If you're a solo camper and you want the fastest setup, lightest weight, and you don't need much in the way of add-ons, then I think the Mini Mate is the clear favorite. It's big enough for the occasional camping guest, but it's really well suited to the solo traveler who's on the road day in, day out. The Easy Camper, I think, is better for camping couples. Or uh, if you're a solo camper and you just want a lot of roomy inside space that sets up off the ground. It's especially nice uh, if you're going to be going to rallies and you want to use something like that screen room. Then you can really create a camper that has a lot of space. Now you carry a little more weight. The uh, Mini Mate is 265 pounds. The Easy Camper is about 323 25. The Easy Camper takes a little more strength to set up, but you get more in return. And of course, you have that wider range of accessories. So Either way, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with either one, and that's why I sell both of them. And just say the word, and I'll get one on the way to you, wherever you live. Now, here's how to learn more. If you stop by my website at openroadoutfitters.com, you'll find more information on the Mini Mate and the Easy Camper, as well as other campers and cargo trailers and hitches. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on motorcycle trailering and camping. And of course, feel free to shoot me an email. My address is dale at openroadoutfitters.com. Well, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Uh, Till next time, this is Dale with Open Road Outfitters. And as always, I wish you many happy journeys.